Hey everybody, Jay Barino here, and welcome back. We're playing Legacy of the Void Terran Edition. Only two missions left. This is the Essence of Eternity. And yes, this is the mission you normally play as Terran on in the vanilla map. The difference is we can pick our tech, and in theory, our allies will be a little more competent. So, I feel like this mission only stands to be a little easier than the original version, but that's good. I think we earned that. Um, hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you. I love my orbital depots. I love them. So let's take them. Um, fortified bunker makes sense. I think we go planetary fortresses this time. They don't, they don't, can't go wrong with them on the, the base version of the map. And also, perdition turrets are only so good against, like, swarms of light units. And this mission has just so much of everything else that I think planetary fortress is what we need. Um, regenerative biosteel has been okay. Though I think cellular reactor on this map is really good because I do like to make some banshees. They're mobile. They can fly around. They do a ton of AoE damage. And the enemy doesn't have any detection. So let's do that. I, I could try making some side disruptors, though I don't know if that's really the right choice in the long term. So let's give it a shot. Aeon's shadows will devour all. Kerrigan, may the last of my essence give you the power you need. The power? It, it's so much. You must channel it. Use it against these dark servants. All right. This mission goes as long as you want it to go. So if we don't use Kerrigan that much, then it'll be kind of speedy. And by kind of speedy, I mean like 25 minutes-ish. But we'll see. All right. Already done. We got Kerrigan hotkeyed. We'll try and pick up some pallets. I need to focus until this is finished. Jim, you'll have to handle this one. All right. I've set up my defenses at these two points. Looks like we gotta stand our ground if we're gonna get out of this alive. This swarm will eat its queen unto death. And the might of the firstborn stands with you. Then let's get moving. I think Synergy makes Artanis respawn. I mean, that alone is a nice little improvement, because I think in the original files he's supposed to, but it just doesn't work as intended. Okay. Hop in there. Let's go out and grab the pallets. We'll want heavy defenses to give Sarah the time she needs. I hope you're ready for this. My forces will hold for as long as they can. Our queen must not be harmed. Got it. This better okay, and then there's some back here too. We want to grab these early because otherwise they're very, very difficult to get to otherwise. There and there. I mean, maybe he'll make it back. I'm not so sure. Okay, let's take this. Let's continue to go out and get more of these. Come to seek your death. What the hell was that? Avon is sending his minions against us. But I can use this power to stop them if I have to. Okay, I'm gonna start getting upgrades now. And the earlier we get this gas going, the better. And then you guys can help build that. Um, all my dudes are running around getting upgrades and stuff. Not getting upgrades, but they're getting um, pallets and stuff. Very, very valuable early on. Yo, can I tell you something? Instant depots. I think you get instant depots on the on the base version of this mission, though, so... Still handy. Okay, you go ahead and land. I'm going to see if I can make a run for the pallets that are back here. Are there more down here? I, I don't remember, but let's look. There is. Okay. Again, the sooner that we can get these, the bigger help they're going to be. And then let's just keep making tanks. And then this, we got to be quick because that Liberator will set up and kill us. Okay, get out of there. Let's see if he can get away. Come on, buddy. Okay, good. Good work. And then we're going to keep getting this stuff saturated. Warpig, get in the bunker. We're going to need some turrets as well. 
we could just use Kerrigan to pick off like the really high value stuff right now. And then we gotta get down there and start building stuff for Artanis and Kerrigan. The sooner we can get a planetary up down here for him, the better. Jim, Zagara and Artanis won't last long if you don't act. You must help them. Or I can use my powers if I must. What will she become when she is another? Do not forget, I have also ascended. Yep, yep. I understand. He's also ascended. Uh, I'm just going to grab a second command center here. Unfortunately, we can't build on creep in the base version of this. Maybe that's been changed. If we could build on creep... Nah, that's unfortunate. That would have been really handy. No dice. Okay, and I'm starting to get banshees. Let's get some science vessels as well so that they can start gaining some energy. We do have cellular reactor, though, so that's very handy. And there's Artanis, and he's going to blast stuff. Uh, I'd really hope that that would reach... That would reach far enough out there, but... If I use this power against Amon's forces, it will delay the transfer. I'll have to be careful. Okay, let's hope that SCV survives. Keep getting this saturated. I'm going to keep getting turrets. And I'm going to get another planetary here. And that should keep all the entrances pretty well protected. Go planetary here. I'm gonna move this tank back. If he lives, he's about to die. He's not gonna die. Okay, you love that. Okay, that bunker is probably not long for this world. Let's go ahead and get a barracks here. And then we're gonna start getting a bunch of turrets. And we need more protection for Zagara. Not enough minerals. Let's go ahead and move some SCVs down here to protect her. This is tough because, like, you can't put the tanks too far forward because they will definitely die. But that kind of that kind of throws away her most outward defenses. I think we're in great shape already. I think this is going just fantastically. Let's go ahead and pivot some tanks over here. And now we don't have to convert this one into this into a planetary fortress, which is ideal. Siege breakers, dusk wings, and hell's angels all. Okay, and then let's go ahead and throw down I guess a you know, whatever. And then we'll throw some marauders into a bunker over here. Explain. Okay, we gotta get some tanks down there as well. So these siege breakers we're gonna toss behind my planetary. Our base from the other side. These bastards don't let up, do they? Why would they? Tenacity is advantageous in war. That isn't what I Oh hell, never mind. Bad news. Okay, we're getting we're getting this filled up. We're gonna get some additional SCVs. I don't think that minerals are going to be a problem in the long term, so we probably don't need to build any more um, SCVs at that expansion. We'll just build SCVs where they can... Uh... Oh, well, they already destroyed that <laughs> that bunker. That's fine. I didn't want it anyway. I didn't need it. Just build turrets, and uh... I don't know. What are we doing with these guys? We'll get them into this bunker. Hey, hey. And then we need lots and lots of turrets along this edge. I know that for sure. Let's get more tanks. I guess get Jackson's Revenge. It's always, you know, you're about to get attacked, help yourself. We're about to get attacked, help us. That's how it always goes. Yo, you guys, please get down here. I understand that I, uh... Explain that I F2, that is my fault. I take responsibility. What's going on? I mean, I guess might as well put that where put these wherever. Like they they are kind of helpful. They do like block stuff though. Upgrade complete. Put one there. Put one here. Oh, this needs to be a planetary. 
And then let's go ahead and club and get in there. Okay, I think Zagara is fine now. Let's go ahead and decloak. You just don't want to cloak. Uh, you don't want to decloak when there are shores because your banshees will die like immediately. Viking banshee, keep it up. Those guys are going to get set up. Zagara actively rebuilding her defense. I love to see that. Probably want to get some more tanks down here. Command center upgrade complete. And when I said a lot of turrets, I wasn't kidding. And we want to save, but make sure we can get siege breakers at the end here. I will get some more tanks. So I don't want my area to get busted through. Okay, we could also steal our allies' gas. I don't want to, but I certainly could. Okay, air group. You, Jackson's Revenge, we're going to leave here. Otherwise, mobile air group, we got you flying around doing good stuff. Amon is sending an overwhelming force against me. I will need your assistance, friend Raynor. Give us your best shot! Yes, sir, we're here. We need upgrades. The, the attack speed is just so, so clutch. Okay, so let's go ahead and cloak and get out there. So this is where Cellular Reactor comes heavily into play. Now, Artanis is going to die really fast, but he's going to use Resurgency. He's going to kill a lot of this stuff. But again, he respawns. That's very, very handy. Okay, let's watch our Banshees just absolutely tear through this stuff. And then as we get towards that plus three attack... That is even better. It's like, I kind of want to move these tanks up just a little bit. Our allies are being attacked. Our allies I probably are will here in a moment. Let's get Hell's Angels. Yes. Yes, Chrono boost me. Okay, that's going to be fine. You guys come on out of here. You know what? I trust that he can kill that stuff. So let's decloak and send my floating my floating units up in this direction. I'm gonna get a few more tanks at each entrance to make sure that this doesn't fall. I don't think we're really at risk, but I was promised a massive force, so let's see a massive force. I mean, it's 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 a lot. Hit those. Can I get Siege Breakers? Yes, I can. And then Dusk Wings as well. Yo. Instant flippin' depots. Get me set up. And then these Siege Breakers, I'm going to move up here with these guys. Moving them this far forward is just asking for them to get killed. I might want to get some, some something that can assist... Like, just something that goes in front of them, but it can't be buildings, because I can't build... I can't build buildings. We'll keep these guys a little bit further back. Dusk wings, and I can give them a science vessel to kind of sit over there. Upgrade complete. And then where are my flyers? They're all sitting up here. So this is, like, my mobile group. I'm very happy with it. And eventually, at the end, we can just pull all of our SCVs to repair. And it might get messy, but, you know, that's how that's how it goes. Okay, who's under pressure right now? Really nobody. I, didn't, I never know if destroying these things does anything, but it's, I guess, let's do it. Zagara and Artanis will come under attack soon. Defend them, Jim. Okay, I think we're going to want to send most of our folks down to Zagara. With the power of the Zelnaga, you know it to be true. And I'm thinking Artanis needs a couple more tanks. Okay, Banshee's Cloak. And then we're going to send some of you down to Artanis.
And then I sent all the Vikings down here too, because I think this area gets hit really hard with air attacks. And that might be later. No, nope, it's this. <laughs> They'd actually already killed all of my turrets, unfortunately. I built a lot of them. Back up a little bit. It's a lot of Vikings down. Okay, pivot over here. That looks fine, honestly. I think, again, we just need some more Vikings. I can just call down... I mean, why not? We'll just call down a bunch of mercenaries. We don't need these bunkers, actually. There are more Void Thrashers out there. We gotta take them out. How are we doing? 80%? No time like the present. If they're gonna break through, where's it gonna be, do you think? I built more tanks. Where did they end up? Are they dead? Okay, air fleet, come on up. No, they're they're in this group right now. They're moving around. You guys need to get down here to Artanis, I think. Artanis is quite strong versus ground, given all the stuff that we've given him. Okay, Vikings just chill here. I'm just gonna hit these brood lords. Under and then air fleet. I'm loving seeing Zagar actually rebuild this stuff. It's really handy. Who's in danger next? Your queen. Look at that. Now they're not. They're not gonna be spawning any of this stuff anymore. You'll love to see it. Okay, we'll set up these tanks again. She's rebuilding. I mean, I could build a... Now that the creep has receded, I could build some. Are attacking from all sides. You must hold. You aid a monster who has murdered scores of your people. I heard about enough of this. You tell him. Remain focused, my friend. Right. Okay, we leave these here. Let me send the rest down here. And we'll pick off a few things down on this angle, because I'm not super confident of that. What I actually really needed to do was remake these turrets. I'll start now. Having turrets here is really handy, too. And then I need these Vikings actually in the fight. Let's just use Kerrigan here. This is it. Amon sending all he has against us. Okay, we can just stay cloaked. That's fine. This is feeling okay right now. You guys back up a little bit. Leave the Banshees in the front. You back up a little bit, though. Upgrade complete. Pretty much maxed out. This area might not be super safe. We'll put the mercenaries here to help, I guess. Any other mercenaries we can call down frantically? No. Did I just hear a ghost die? Oh, that was an en that must have been an enemy ghost. All right, cigars. I'm feeling good about. This is a little spicy just because I didn't build enough, uh, I didn't rebuild enough turrets. And I'm just going to let it go. They're not going to break through completely any specific side, so there we go. That's definitely easier than the base just because I could pick my tech, be a little more efficient that way. That's it. I have nearly all of the Zelnaga's essence. I have been honored to serve you, my queen. The swarm is yours, Zagara. Remember our lessons. I shall. It is time. Maybe we should just have two gyms. Artana should be gym twice, you know? Right, we did that in about 20 minutes. 
I could tack on the last mission. It just depends on how long it will take me. So I'll record it as a separate video, and if they're both short enough, I'll smush them together. Okay, it's the last mission. Amon's fall. Kerrigan can teleport herself and her army to any visible location. Excuse me? Look, a lot of this stuff just doesn't matter. Uh, Ultra capacitors is probably the most important thing just to increase our DPS, but Kerrigan's going to be healing us. Um, this is fine. Uh, the, the auto refineries are nice. Shrike turrets, because they're funny. And then Hercules, because we never use them. Cellular reactor, I guess, if we want to make battle cruisers, because regenerative biosteel doesn't have anything on Kerrigan's heal, and we're not going to be making any of that other stuff. So I guess send me in and get started. Quick start, all right? Quick start. This mission's all about Kerrigan. And I gotta say, that first epilogue map, it really has me feeling like the Terran fully upgraded army. It, the DPS output is, is crazy. It really is. It's just a lot harder to rebuild that army if and when you lose it. I mean, yeah, Protoss have the Fire Colossi and the Vanguards and the Shadow Fury DTs, so their their anti-ground is, is absolutely crazy as well. Um, I just think that the Terran army is very well-rounded, it's versatile, and the damage output um, has, like, a higher general range. And it has some pretty good sustainability as well. I mean, the Protoss army has shields, so in a way it all, you know, is nice and sustainable as well. When they leave him to recharge their energy, they become... Why does he have to send the crystals out to recharge? I, are they like introverts? They're like, they can only recharge their social battery when they're alone. <laughs> you have yet to see my power. We will bring his barrier down. Then I will finish it. I mean, this is all about this Kerrigan. Is last dance, darling. Let's get going. It's just like, can we micro Kerrigan while building our base and getting an army of mercenaries that are upgraded out? That's really all we gotta focus on. So let's just like send these folks out here to kill the first volcano. What is it you require? And then getting the I don't know why I just did that, but getting the uh This is my bird. The void crystals orbit the aim on, projecting his void barrier. There we go. You gotta attack it, though, Kerrigan. That is our moment to destroy them. That's fine that she's focusing on some of the units that are coming out. It's usually after half health, that's when the constructs come down. Isn't that when the constructs come down? There it is. Okay, just kill the volcano first. His reach is long here in the morning. He will attack us at every turn. Okay. Then we gotta get rid of this, and then we can go down and help Artanis when he attacks the first crystal. Let's go ahead and take this. The first crystal should be vulnerable to our attack soon. My warriors will engage it shortly. And we could teleport flipping anywhere. That's crazy. Okay, Artanis is moving out, send me in. Just like follow a sentry, and as long as we have her hotkey, we just gotta we just have to um, make sure that we hit the hotkey and heal her every so often. If he stopped to kill this, um, if he stopped to kill the the volcano first, that would be nice. It's not necessary, but I'm just saying it would be nice. Let's see how these void crystals fare against my new power. Okay, let's hotkey all of these. Make sure our rally points are set. Keep healing with her. Keep healing with her. How are we doing over here? Not bad. This this is taking down the Dragoons pretty fast. We basically just have to spam the heal. That's it. Just spam that heal. Get rid of this Torment construct. Or whatever the heck it is. And that's one crystal down, easy peasy. Now I'm hopeful that Artanis is going to make a move to the right, yeah, to kill the volcano. And just keep keep that heal spam going, okay? Base is under attack. By a single zealot. I, I'd rather focus on getting rid of this volcano than, uh, like, whatever happens with that one zealot it happens. Okay, it's fine. Okay, 
Very nice. Okay, let's get the let's get the DPS on the volcano, please, Artanis. Okay, perfect. And then I'll walk back and kill this. That's fine. Let he can kill some of those, and then we want to queue up our upgrade structures. Okay, and then you go ahead and start moving up here. Okay, I'm just gonna pop straight up to Zagara. And let's start making some Marauders, I guess. Uh, these Zerglings are definitely gonna die fast. <laughs> okay, this is where stuff might get a little dicey. Because, if, if, the again, we're relying on our allies to do a lot of the DPS here. And, like, something like this, this, the Rampage Construct, is gonna kill the Zerglings so fast. Just gotta spam heal and hope for the best. Zerglin's putting out a lot of DPS, though. How about Mercs? Can we get Mercs? Volcano is reforming. You cannot hide behind your crystals, And that means the volcano down by Artanis will also be back here soon. So let's get our units together, please. Otherwise, it's this, this wasteful, right? Heal me. Extinction's feeling kind of okay at this point. Hard to say. I think we got. We want to queue up like a butt ton of supply depots next. Not enough minerals. Okay, that feels good. I sense Amon's focus has turned to my swarm. We must evacuate before he attacks. Okay, let's move down to the next volcano that's going to be reforming your Otanis and a crystal's popping up. Again, I'm just attacking with my allies and spamming heal. It honestly feels like you, all you kind of need to do. You just need to make sure that you quantum ray occasionally to get rid of the volcanoes. The volcanoes, especially those two that are closest to us, if you get rid of those, it takes a ton of pressure off of you and then allows your allies to do a lot of the work. If we are to survive Amon's assault, it is only a matter of time before he comes for the rest of us. Got it. Okay. Yeah, this is going to happen now. We don't want we don't want to let Kerrigan die to uh Another crystal is passing by us soon. I'm sending out some more we have to be careful not to let Kerrigan die to um, terrain destruction, because that's where things can get real crappy. I don't know where Zagara's going. You know, just let her do whatever she's going to do. Spam heal, and let's also get out a bunch more production. Okay, a new age. You love to hear it. Uh, we don't even need to siege these. They're doing great. Uh, going to do great DPS. Okay. Move down. Try and heal these zealots. Every little thing that we can keep alive here is huge. I heard upgrade complete too. So let's keep spamming that heal and then get out the next level of upgrades. And then we're right here to get this volcano that spawned here as well. Let's do that. Then we can get the volcano up by Zagara. Okay, we just got to be very cognizant that we're always healing. That as long as you're always healing, it's fine. And getting rid of some of these constructs here is very useful as well. I'm expecting Zagara is going to try and move out and get that crystal up there. Unless her attack is kind of on cooldown still. Okay, you'll love to see it. Any other mercs? I strike at the enemy. Guess what I'm doing? I'm healing. Well, there's Zagara, but we're kind of out of position to 
help her directly. Okay, Volcano's gone. Heal. Get rid of the Rampage Constructs. Okay, this feels pretty good. If only because we've got the Swarm here. They're attacking some of the Constructs. We're trying to kill this through the heal. Hard to say if we have the DPS to do it. This terrain breaks, so we have to be very careful. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of these constructs, and then we can go and kill that volcano again. And now we just start. We just got to start building a lot of stuff. How about more mercenaries? And Thors? Okay, now here. I'm not too concerned about this. Well, okay, maybe not. I don't know. We might. Do we want to go up and help Artanis, or do we want to destroy this one volcano? I think I'm an extinction. And then let's warp up here and help him. Heal. That was a quick heal. I think that was appropriate. Just keep healing. Just don't lose units to the terrain destruction. Be on your guard, Amon will surely strike your hive cluster soon. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay. Did I lose stuff to that? Is Artanis still here? He's got some units still here. Make Marauders, I think. And Diamondbacks. And Thors. And... Banshees? We're like on... Great pace here. Your end approaches. We're here, so let's destroy this. Mineral field. Mayday, mayday. SCVs, evacuate the command center. That whole area's going down. Just focus on the just focus on the Thanks. volcano and then we'll just get out. Okay. I lost a bunch of my SCVs there because I, I was in the middle of other stuff, okay? That's okay. That's uh, a bunch of extra supply that we get, okay? That's one way to, to think about it. I see some flyers coming in. Let's take care of some of these constructs, then we'll swing over and get rid of them. Only two left? If we can figure out again the best place that we want to be to help our allies... Um, uh, mercenaries, upgrades. Who's down here? Oh. Um, let me tell you something. We're just going to go up here. Okay, my allies don't seem to be in a position to be making great progress now anymore, unfortunately. But that's okay, because I think I could just get both of these. Artanis, if you moved up here, we're going to win. Just come on up here, buddy. Literally, all you got to do is come up here, Artanis. You see how fast we're taking down these constructs? Holy cow. There's another one. Let's get rid of this. He's coming. And the terrain's already destroyed, so we can't accidentally die walking over it. I don't think we even need him. We're going to finish this before he even gets here. Oh, yeah. Got it. Wow. Look at that. Finally, the barrier has fallen. 
Honestly, it is over. we stayed on top of those close volcanoes early enough, and we could take out early crystals because our allies were free to move out and get them, and we healed our allies through it. It's just like Micro and Kerrigan, and by microing, I mean have her hotkey to the one button and then hit 1C, 1C, 1C at a regular interval while macroing through that. It's not super intense. Like, your APM. If you're a slow player like me, your APM will be higher than average, but it's so easy because it's the same, it's just the same routine of button hitting. There's nothing really dynamic or, or it's just not, it's not, it's not difficult <laughs> to do that. And look how fast we finished this. Holy cow. I gotta say, I really, uh, I really enjoyed um, Legacy of the Void Terran Edition. I expected that I would hit some spots that would make me like, semi-miserable, because the first time I played this, some of the mis missions were really, really difficult, especially some of those early ones. Um, the holdout mission, um, the, the Taldream laser beam mission, I don't remember the names of any of these. Uh, apparently the Dark Templar mission, where you have to kill the Void Thrasher, is also quite difficult. Um, yeah, Spear of a Dune was pretty hard, Forbidden Weapon was pretty hard, Sky Shield was pretty hard. Brothers in Arms was on the cusp of being a little difficult. If only because maybe resources, like, we could have run out <laughs> at a certain point. Um, Amon's Reach was difficult, Last Stand was difficult, and then after that, things got a little easier. Harbinger of Oblivion was difficult, and then I would say all of these were fairly straightforward. Um, just because we had a lot of tech at our disposal, and we could, we always had the option to go Viking Banshee, which is very, very strong. We didn't. But we always mixed some of those units in, and they were always really good. I actually enjoyed all the epilogue missions a lot. Uh, I really enjoyed Salvation as Terran. That was really fun. Um, and, and, you know, I've already discussed this a little bit, but... Um, and I know Synergy had said, specifically, like, these aren't getting updated. And I don't think they need to be. But it is fun to sort of muse on what could be changed to make them feel maybe a little more in line with what you would expect based on the other campaigns. But after playing this, it makes me wonder if maybe the other campaigns need to, need to be made harder. I don't think they should. I'm just, I think everything's fine the way it is. But, you know, in order for the, everything to be consistent, like, Legacy of the Void Terran is going to catch people by surprise. And they're going to, they're going to hate it at first because they don't expect the challenge. But I think when I went into these with a very focused mindset of kind of like rewinding back to the past when I, I really had to put some effort into being able to beat the maps... Um, they're very rewarding to do, but you have to be in the mindset to do it, and I think a lot of people would will not be, because they're like, oh, it's just the vanilla maps, I know these. But they play a lot different when you go from Protoss to Terran, that is for sure. Uh, some people have suggested, oh, just make every unit a mercenary. I think that's heavy-handed, that's too much. Um, I think the other alternative there is to say that mercenaries should not be... Um, there shouldn't be, like, a limit. To the number of mercenaries you can get. Um, most of the missions are fast enough, then a lot of them are timed, that that's not going to make a huge difference either way, but you know, it's not going to make the map too easy if you just let the player get an unlimited amount of war picks, because they're still constrained by supply, they're still constrained by their mineral cost, they're still constrained by not being able to rally directly on top of pylon power like the Protoss anyway, um, and, the, and the cooldown in general is, is still long. The other thing you could do is make the first round of mercenaries not on a cooldown. Now, that may sound like it's way too good, but at the same time, again, there's the player has, having to decide um, what they want to spend their resources on because mercenaries are more expensive than normal units. Um, and in some cases, they are more expensive, but still fairly, fairly vulnerable if they're not mixed into a larger force. So removing the initial cooldown on the mercenaries could be another way. Um, I don't think every unit needs to be a mercenary. Um, the other thing that would be way less toned down, I'm sorry, um, way less heavy-handed regarding, like, making every unit a mercenary, and I think Synergy has already said, um, hey, if I, if he was gonna come back and update these, he would just make it so that on the Brutal difficulty, new units unlocked had their armory upgrades from the start. Like, Marines didn't start with Combat Shield and Stim. Um, bunkers didn't start with the range upgrade and the ability to put six units inside of them on Spear of a Dune. Spear of a Dune would have been way more, uh, way, way less tight <laughs> if my Marines had Combat Shield. Um, Forbidden Weapon, if my Marauders could slow down enemy units and had Kinetic Foam, um, stuff like that. Uh, it's basically just like, if your units started with those upgrades, then I think the maps would be a lot more, um, 
in line with the other race swap campaigns here. Now, I think that that was done intentionally. Like, on the lower difficulties, they do start with all those armoring upgrades, and on Brutal, they don't. Um, it's, it's really hard to say if that was like, would Brutal be too easy then, if that was the case? I don't know. I can think of a few where that would be really, really nice. Like, when Wraiths are introduced, they're still worthless, unless maybe they have something else that would help. Like, they can cloak longer, and they can dodge some attacks, you know? Otherwise, why am I, why am I making those? Now, on Last Stand, I think if I had Ma Maelstrom Rounds and Shaped Blast, perhaps that would become too easy. I don't know. At the same time, Last Stand is pretty hard, especially beginning. And if you don't do the beginning just right, you're going to get dusted. So would it really kill you to give the player Maelstrom Rounds? Uh, maybe in the latter half of the mission, yes. But at the beginning, no. Um, it's just interesting to think about all that kind of stuff. Brothers in Arms with the Diamondback upgrades, again, would that make the mission too easy? I don't think so. I think it's a fairly subtle change that would make these missions less difficult, but not too easy. Especially the early ones. Especially the early ones, and that's where things are really rough. That's where every player is starting as well, and that's where you're going to get the worst reviews. Because Joe Schmo is going to play for ire, die say, wasn't this supposed to be the F2 mission, and then leave a one-star review, you know? Um, I think Joe Schmo is, is missing out on uh, what is a really fun and challenging campaign, but, uh, you know, that's the kind of stuff you have to decide how, how to address it. Now, when I say you, I'm not really talking to Synergy. It's more to the general community and creators in general, because, again, Synergy's been very clear. He's like... It's fine the way it is. I'm not going to change it. I recognize it's pretty imbalanced, but it's fine. Uh, and I, I share that sympathy. I think it's fine because I enjoyed it the way it is, but it, it is a shift from the other seven cam <laughs> campaigns. So it's fun to talk about, uh, and especially now that I'm not in the middle of a mission, I could focus my thoughts a little bit more to discuss uh, this topic specifically. But we made it through and in general did a great job. Um, I think I actually had the most fun with the epilogue, weirdly enough. I... I I really liked it. Even flipping Essence of Eternity, being able to choose my tech and having slightly more competent allies makes the mission a lot more fun. Uh, even though it's it, it seems very similar uh, at on the surface level, but I don't know, it just feels different. It feels good. All right, that's it for this. I'm going to play Protoss Covert Ops next. So we're going to have those nine missions. Then we're taking a break from the race swaps. That's four of eight. We've done like a full playthrough of the campaign collection. We're going we're gonna to go back to Dawn of War, I think, for a little bit. Never played Soulstorm. Probably going to knock out Dawn of War 2 with Shar Dundred. Very excited about that. This is all tentative plans, but this is what I'm thinking. Um, get back to the RTS potpourri. And then eventually, one day, we will return and we will play the other four race swap campaigns. When that will be, I'm not so sure. But anyway, it's still in the future. The next thing, We're still playing more race swaps next. Next is Protoss Covert Ops. I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.